The WWE 2K23 roster has been revealed. The entire roster is announced and we're going to go through all of it for you today on the show to talk about who's included and who's not included in this year's game. First, I want to take a look at all of the women that have been confirmed for the game. Now, there are no announcements when it comes to DLC, so keep that in mind as we are going through the whole roster here. On the women's side, you have Alba Fire, Alexa Bliss, Aaliyah, Asuka, Bailey, Becky Lynch, Beth Phoenix, Bianca Belair, Brie Bella, Carmella, Charlotte Flair, China, Cora Jade, Dakota Kai, Dana Brooke, Dewdrop, so we're not getting Piper Niven, so keep that in mind. Gigi, Indy Hartwell, EO Sky, JC Jane, Katana, Caden Carter, Lacey Evans, Liv Morgan, Maurice, Molly Holly, Natalia, Nikki A.S.H., we're not going to get Nikki Cross then, I would assume, Nikki Bella, Nikita Lyons, Queen Zelina, Raquel Rodriguez, Rhea Ripley, Ronda Rousey, Roxanne Perez, Scarlett, Shayna Baszler, Shotzi, Sonya Deville, Stacey Keebler, Stephanie McMahon, Tamina, Trish Stratus, Zia Lee, and Zoe Stark. So Aaliyah, Alba Fire making their 2K debut. What do you think of the female side and the female list of stars that we have here? Remember, DLC is not confirmed yet. We don't have it announced. So the likes of legends, say like a Tori Wilson, for example, might still be in the game. I forgot to mention Lita, yes, is in the game too, according to the whole list. The Bella Twins, we got to see their entrances recently. So for both Brie and Nikki Bella. Candice LeRae, I noticed, is not mentioned. So I wonder if she's going to end up having to be DLC. We had her in 2K22. There's no reason why she can't just be slotted in for this year's game. But I wonder with the timing of some of the releases and rehires, it could be why we're not seeing certain stars in the game. Now on the men's side, I don't want to go through the entire list because you can go through 2K's website to get the entire breakdown of it. But we're going to highlight the new or returning additions to this year's game. So like I mentioned, Aaliyah, she is going to be brand new to the game. Bruno San Martino is listed. All right, great. That was random though. The Creed brothers are gonna be in the game. I think that's an awesome addition. I would have thought they would have been in for DLC, but they're gonna be in the base game. Hayden Carter, Madcap Moss is in the game. So I think that's a great win. It was too bad that he didn't make it into 2K22. So I'm glad for Madcap, he's gonna be in this year's game. Noam Dar is returning. Reggie is gonna be in the game. We're not gonna get scripts, but we're gonna get regular Reggie in the game. So that's kind of cool. Ridge Holland is making his debut in the game. And Solo Sokoa is also confirmed for the game. So not even DLC, that kind of surprises me. What do you think? I really thought Solo would have been held back for DLC. Some other interesting names here on the full roster list. Cactus Jack is listed in the game. Mankind is not. On the McMahon side, we did mention Stephanie McMahon. Shane McMahon is confirmed for the game. Mr. McMahon is also confirmed to still be in the game. Oh, in case anybody doubted, your boy LA Knight, yeah, is still in the game. He's going to be in this year's game. That's a win. I also want to highlight Gunther in the game because 2K released a full screenshot here of Gunther and his render, I think, is top notch. They did an amazing job putting this together. DLC stars we had last year are in this year's base game as well. So the likes of RVD are going to be in the game. Logan Paul is day one in the game. They even got legends like Jake the Snake Roberts is going to be in the game. And Jerry the King Lawler is also playable in the game. An interesting find in here too. They're including both Elias and Ezekiel in the game. So we're going to get two of these characters in here and they're both going to be in the game. Scott Hall, Kevin Nash, Hulk Hogan, they've all been confirmed from the roster list. So we are going to be getting the NWO in the game. Razor Ramon is also listed in there too. The Ruthless Aggression Pack, as we have confirmed, is there with Brock Lesnar 2001. You're getting Prototype John Cena, Randy Orton from 2002, and Dave Batista Leviathan is in there too. And Bad Bunny obviously is the pre-order bonus. Some quick names that are not listed, or I should say character models are not listed here. The different versions of The Undertaker are not listed, what we had for DLC, the pre-order bonuses for uh, 2K22. All the different versions of The Undertaker, like 98, 95, they're not listed here. It makes you wonder if they're gonna pack that into a DLC or if they're just gonna be set up as alternate versions of Taker in the base game. Or maybe they're just not in it at all. Some names not listed here. This is a big piece here for a lot of people. Ric Flair, not listed in the base game of the roster. Johnny Gargano is also not listed as part of the active roster here. And a big name, Bray Wyatt, is not listed for the roster. Now. That could all mean that it's going to be held back for DLC. And I think that is very, very likely, especially for Bray Wyatt. Remember the devs have said in interviews that they are gonna be holding some stars back. 
that you're going to end up seeing in DLC that are going to be kind of head scratchers as to why they are not put into the game. So I can see that when it comes to Bray Wyatt or giving us kind of like a whole fiend pack or Bray Wyatt pack altogether. Also shout out with the screenshot that we have here of Alexa Bliss we've used on the thumbnail that it is a great, great shot of Bliss with her updated look. And you can also see Lily is also included for her entrance. Another name that's not listed here on the roster that's currently active is going to be Bronson Reed. So again, somebody else that potentially could be coming up with like a Johnny Gargano and a DLC pack, but Bronson Reed is not listed for this roster. Luke Gallows, Carl Anderson, they're not included. Obviously, they only recently returned to WWE. So again, potential for DLC maybe, or they're just not gonna make it into the cut for this year's game. I also noticed Mia Yim is not included for the roster. Hit Row is also not listed here, so I can see them being added in as part of a DLC pack. This is where I think it's interesting. The likes of Braun Strowman are in, Bray Wyatt is not. And I'm thinking about when they were all kind of released around the same time. So Braun Strowman is in here, but the likes of Bray Wyatt are not. And someone I didn't expect to make it into the game and they're not listed here is gonna be Emma. Once again, potential DLC right there. And of course, Sasha Banks, Naomi, not listed for the roster. Manny Rose, not listed for this year's game. We mentioned this on previous videos, Pat McAfee, active with WWE. He's not listed on the roster. We've seen like his t-shirts in the crowd. It makes me think that Pat McAfee would be part of a future DLC. So what do you think about the roster? As I'm sitting here digesting it, going through all of it, I'm pretty impressed overall. I think for a base roster of the game, it's a really, really healthy mix. I think there's good amount of female stars and representation there. I think on the men's side and the legend side overall, I think it's pretty good. We always want more and more and more but this is not a stripped down roster and I don't think it's gonna disappoint fans overall. We have to keep in mind, DLC has not been announced and we know there are going to be five DLC packs and you're looking at five, six potential stars in those packs. So could we see Hit Row, Bray Wyatt, Emma, Johnny Gargano, Candice LeRae? Yeah, I think there's a really strong possibility those stars are being held back so that we could get a big DLC pack. I don't know who else they're gonna use, like we talked about, the likes of Ric Flair are not in there. I don't know if they're going to go down the path of giving us some DX pack and part of a DLC. Very interested to see what the DLC that's going to be announced is going to look like. But I'm really excited to see and that 2K went ahead and they released the whole roster kind of ahead of time. Usually they've been doing this in batches, especially with 2K22. They would go kind of week by week releasing stars. Here they just drop the entire list on everybody. For more WWE 2K23 news and updates, click this video right here, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, all that fun stuff. I'll see you on the next episode. Bye, everybody.